John O'Bacon, the Ubuntu Community Manager, and I'm here this week in Dallas at a rally. This is where a load of Ubuntu people are getting together to just, just kill some work items and plow on with the Natty release, the Ubuntu 11.04 release. Um, we're going to be having a series of interviews this week with lots of different people who work in different parts of Ubuntu. Uh, we've got George Castro behind the camera, who is helping us to film these things as well. When and he's not coughing. Yeah. When he's not coughing, he just had some minor fit. Um, but I'm delighted today that we've got David Bath. David has been at Canonical now for, what, two years, just over two years? Yeah, two years and a half. Uh, and David is the Desktop Experience Team Engineering Manager. So Unity, the Application Indicators, Notify OSD, all of that good stuff. It's his team that builds this, and he's, he's the man to, to help that team deliver on those technologies. So, so how did you start? How did you join Canonical? Um, so, yeah, probably uh, two, two years and a half ago. Um, so I was being interviewed by, by Mark Shawworth. Um, he was looking for someone to help them you know, build uh, a new team to um, try to enhance the Linux desktop um, okay. and, and implement some of the ideas he had. And also... Um, uh, so even if initially we didn't have uh, the design team, that is, we, we, we started working uh, on, on different things on our own, uh, he already had the intention of you know, um, pairing a, a good engineering team with a, a team of design professionals. Um, um, yeah, this is how I started. Um, maybe I could mention yeah, the, the, uh, the old Linux root, so uh, I was joking uh, yeah. the other day about my FVWM95. Uh, <laughs> Those were the days. Yeah, exactly. FVWM95. Yeah. That was that was. I think that was actually my first interface that I really probably used as well. So yeah, it's a nice one. But so you see how old I am now. Uh, <laughs> but looking younger every day. Yeah. So um, okay, so you joined Canonical, and this was of course before. This was even before Netfire OSD. I mean, this was before Unity, before the app indicators, before the global menu, all of that kind of stuff. So you came right in the beginning. How have you seen the community and Canonical as a company change as this design ethic has kind of come into it? How? Well, so as we were starting, you know, without them initially, um, uh, we were, I guess, you know, we were developing things on Linux like. People have usually uh, developed things on Linux so far, um, and I was really struck by the the difference uh, all of these guys uh, started to make. You know, when they they joined the company. So uh, initially, we were just two developers alone with some IDs and Mark and so on, and suddenly we were uh, you know uh, working with uh, two new people, five new people, ten new designers uh, who were doing professional user testing, uh, caring, uh, taking care of. Uh, usability issues, uh, really, uh, you know, uh, questioning uh, the assumptions we, we were having and, and, and were uh, using for uh, putting up a user interface. Uh, so it's like a healthy level of, really, yeah, should yeah, you be yeah. doing it this way? And something that is unique, that is, I don't think, you know, um, uh, any other company in this, in this uh, ecosystem has done such a major investment in professional design for, you know, now two years and a half. Um, and well, it's an insider uh, perspective, uh, I'm biased, <laughs> but I think it made a, a good difference. Right. I think we're doing uh, something good for, uh, for the Linux uh, ecosystem. So, so, I mean, you know, this, this, this design ethic comes into the organization and, you know, you've shipped a series of technologies. Um, so why don't you just walk through what the team's, what the team's shipped so far? Right. So, well, we started with Notify OSD, we wanted to, you know, um, start with something that was systemic. Uh, that is, one of our initial directions was to say uh, we won't be doing applications, you know, like specific applications, specific uh, tools or, um, you know, things that people want to use. We want to have a more systemic approach. That is, when we do something, we want that to uh, enhance the whole system um, at the same time. So that was Notify OSD, that was the panel and all the indicators. So these are bits that are always there that lots of apps can hook into, right? Right, exactly. And, and initially it was more of a general, you know, uh, uh, enhancement, improvements, cleanups, uh, well, if it's, even if it's not that nice for, you know, the, uh, the existing code. But I think everyone agreed that, for example, GNOME panel needed some, some, uh, some, some love. That is, it needed to change and the infrastructure um, 
couldn't couldn't support uh, some of the changes we wanted to do. So I think Ted uh, did a good job in particular of uh, you know inserting this uh, indicator applet system so that we could redo all of the other indicators. Um, you know, right. Was a cleaner system, and now we're using the same mechanisms for Unity, um, and there is a lot of code reuse. So that was a good. Um, Good initial move. So, so you started out with Notify SD. Yeah. What was next? Was that the messaging menu? Well, messaging menu because well, so we had this panel uh, uh, plan, you know, um, uh, inside. But so we wanted to start with something. Um, one of the indicators we couldn't tackle off them were just you know two, three guys, including me. Um, well, uh, I was doing a bit of code uh, at the time, uh, a bit less now. Um, yeah, and. It was also necessary because mess the messaging menu was really, uh, you know, echoing some of the things we were doing with Notify with D. So then all of the other indicators, uh, and one key change that happened is that uh, we started to work with um, Neil Patel, you know, UNE, the UNE interface. And the legend that is Neil Patel. Right. Okay. And starting to address the, the desktop targets. And, and, and this is what really changed everything because not only did we have uh, you know, a professional team of designers, we had a couple of system announcements, but then we had a, like, um, um, a common interface to, to put everything together. Um, and now it's you know, becoming Unity, but I see it, you know, uh, we, can, uh, we can trace that back yep. to the initial UNE uh, um, Yeah, interface. I think it's pretty cool how all of these things do fit together. I mean, that's the thing I thought was pretty cool when Unity was announced was the fact that, you know, the Notify OSD bits and the messaging menu and the indicators, that all fits into it. But yeah. Unity is a big deal, right? I mean, Mark announced that um, mm -hmm. at, the, at the October um, UDS yes, in, yeah. in Orlando, and everyone and their dog has an opinion about it. So sure. everyone's got an opinion, but what everyone wants to know is, how is it going? I mean, is it going to rock in Natty? <laughs> it is question. going to rock. I mean... No question, and well, actually, you can test it. Um, uh, so it's going well. Um, so my role is to be constantly worried, right? This is why I'm probably not smiling as much as I should. But <laughs> I'm kind of happy, you know, with the situation we're 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 in at the moment because we've passed, you know, the the big um, technological change we we had to do. We've had that, and, and that was it, the port compass, right? Exactly. Uh, that was quite important. So it, you know, it's it's a bit of a disappointment. We we uh, we had this initial uh, Clara code base, and Neil was working on Clara and so on, and we had invested a lot of time, you know, in that. And but at some point we were hitting a, a wall, and and we decided to do this change and move over to compass and, and this well um, specific GI toolkit we're using for being just you know ultra fast, ultra stable, etc. And, and this is done. I mean, the launcher is running, the panel is running, and we'll soon have the new, you know, the part of the, uh, the places, uh, yep. or maybe lenses, right. if we change the name, but the new places interface um, before the end of Alpha 2. So those will be the major pieces, right? I mean, that's the launcher, yeah. the panel, and then you've got the overlay, the, da the dash and the, the places, exactly. forward slash lenses. This is the, the, the last missing piece, you know, of the, uh, the whole Unity interface we had for netbooks. Uh, so in the process, we're adapting that for the desktop, of course. Uh, but I think the changes and the uh, the adjustment we've done for the launcher, uh, it really works. Uh, so a lot of uh, you know one thing that Unity got a lot of heat on was mm -hmm. um, was performance. Some people installed the Netbook Edition on their Instability. on their netbooks, yeah. and it was a bit sluggish and slow. Um, and we've already seen in Natty for those those of us who are running Natty on on our netbooks. Um, the performance improvements have been pretty significant when it comes to the launcher. How is how you find that throughout the rest of Unity? Do you feel like it's going to really offer those significant performance benefits? Well, yes, because so well. Let me first correct what you were saying. So, on certain systems, uh, and and there were a lot of them, uh, we had performance issues and stability issues. Right. Um, and some of that was due to the uh, the, the, the the technology we were using, and and now we were using the technology so that. Um, you know, I don't want to blame the clever guys because we were, uh, we really like what they were doing, um, and I think this is a valuable toolkit. But the way we're using it, uh, we can go faster. 
And uh, besides, we're also creating instabilities and, and when you know the drivers are not working or you're not using the drivers the way you should, it crashes. What we've changed with Compass is that we're, um, we're basically um, attacking the drivers directly as opposed to going through uh, you know, heaps of layers. Um, and this results in improved performance because we were cutting a lot of uh, you know, man in the middle and uh, memory management issues we had. And well, it improves the stability a bit, two points. Uh, the main, you know, so if we put aside the, the places in, in terms of features we need to add, the main issue we still need to face and fix is uh, drivers. Uh, it's, you know, it's not a new problem. Uh, it's just that it becomes more um, obvious when you're running Unity. If you don't have a good driver, uh, Unity is not working well. So right. we've put in place uh, a, a very good process, I think, with the Expo guys, I mean, the, uh, the team uh, here in Ubuntu, yeah. Uh, yeah. to make sure that all the bugs that do impact Unity, uh, whether it's in terms of performance or stability, uh, you know, that flows uh, nicely to them. Uh, uh, fixes are made or uh, uh, upstream bugs are But I'm assuming or, that those driver issues would apply to, to anything, right? They'd apply to to clutter and all the rest of it. Is yeah, it, is yeah, it specific? Sure. So, so, so if you have a driver that doesn't handle 3D graphics very well, yeah. you're not going to be any worse off with comp with the port to compass. You're actually probably going to be a bit better off, but yeah. it still needs, there still needs to be a lot of work, is that correct? Right, yeah. Right. You, you still need good drivers. The thing is that we're using drivers more, we're using, um, you know, uh, more of the iron features of drivers, like the, the frame buffer objects. Uh, but as, as long as, or as soon as your driver is supporting that, we're using the system, that is the software and the hardware, in a more efficient way. Right. This way, so uh, overall, um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a good system. Again, it shows when you're using it. Uh, it's really snappy if you're using it, even a small netbook, which was our initial target. Yeah, uh, it's really better. Fantastic. So um, there's been uh, a lot of discussion about the about GNOME Shell and mm -hmm. and and Unity. How, what's your take on the whole situation? If you know. GNOME project and, right. and where Unity fits into the world. So, so we attended the uh, and we participated to the um, the Boston summit two years and, and something ago. You know, and uh, we were sitting with with uh, John McCann and and and, and Owen Taylor talking about how we could improve the desktop. And at the time, well, we had our you know uh, notify with the ideas in mind. Um, my take on that is that uh, we followed different paths. Uh, we had issues really working together because we had different directions. We had different, different visions, visions right. perspectives. Uh, they wanted to reform the interface you know, um, in one go, whereas we, had, we were adopting a more gradual approach. Uh, and well, after that, uh, it's more a question of you know distance, people not talking to each other, um, and we ended up you know continuing with our network interface without necessarily looking at or uh, you know working more with uh, with them. Uh, it's disappointing uh, globally because uh, we'll you know all, I, I still feel that we're all part of the same uh, family and so on the community that we didn't manage to um, work better together, but. My take now on that is that the GNOME project uh, really needs to consider Unity as an alternative shell. You know, the same way uh, Migo is providing an alternative shell on certain you know, right. systems, uh, Unity is doing exactly the same. And we're doing that on Netbook, and we're doing that on desktop now. But it's it's you know another way to see the desktop. So would you like to see? Would you like to see GNOME users? Just being able to choose the, you know, I can experience GNOME exactly. in this way or this way or this way. And, and I think this is what we're doing uh, anyway, because we're we're going to propose with Natty that people, uh, you know, basically use the, the classic uh, GNOME desktop, the Unity desktop, and if people want to use uh, GNOME Shell, it's also going to be a, you know, an available option. Right. Um, people need to 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 try and and see uh, the one they prefer, and I think this is a this is more of a LC relationship. 
uh, if there are some good good competition, you know, competition. Yeah. Uh, uh, and what I see the GNOME platform, or what I would hope the GNOME project, you know, um, uh, do is is more is concerned more uh, the platform uh, level, um, uh, the, the, the the platform elements they're maintaining and they're uh, they're um, driving and considering the known desktop as an independent project, you know, so that on top of the known platform that we're using and that we're, you know, still uh, hoping to improve through our uh, contributions, um, on top of that you can have you can have different experiences. It's kind of analogous in some ways to the, the old days of Linux or the older days of Linux where you have the kernel yep. and everything to get you, Oops. get a system booted, um, mm -hmm. but then you have different shells, people have exactly. different Command line shell. So but yeah, maybe this is uh, this is this uh, <laughs> these all all days um, coming back. Um, so, right. So 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 just wrapping up, uh, just to, to to wrap things up a little bit. How have you seen? I mean, Unity is a new community, right? I mean, mm -hmm. um, it's That's really beginning. George has, has yeah. been doing some wonderful work, um, getting people excited about participating, fixing bugs and things like that. Um, how are you seeing it? How are you seeing the community grow and contribute? To so, um, it's been fantastic to see uh, you know people uh, starting to tackle the bite-sized bugs uh, we've prepared uh, because we wanted to give a like a, you know um, like uh, easy bugs or um, a, a way for people to start working with us uh, because we understand that well, the Unity project it has roots you know. From a code base that we can trace back, you know, two years ago. So some of the things that you may see, in, uh, you, you may see are strange. So it's it's huge in science because you have to know how Compass is working. You have to know, you know, how the uh, the internals of Unity is working. You have BAM for uh, the application matching framework and so on. Um, it can be a bit uh, daunting, uh, you know, to, to to get started with that project. So. Uh, yeah, thanks to, to you guys and, and, and your need to have uh, bite-sized bugs. I think we we have a good dynamic that is uh, that is starting to take shape with the uh, the Unity community. Um, we have an awful lot of work to do still. You know, like uh, explain more how the system is, uh, is designed. So uh, we've had a session on UDS at UDS about that. Uh, we've we saw that documentation uh, online. I I you know I I strongly feel we need to do a lot more. Uh, if we want to um, grow our community, but I'm right. really happy with the start. And, so it's and a good I'm, start, but lots, lots to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is, we feel, you know, uh, obliged uh, with with all our people who are uh, sending code, contributing uh, code and suggestions and so on. It's uh, it's great. I just want to give one shout out to uh, Jason Smith. Yep. Who uh, is he's pretty young and he's not been working on Unity for a huge amount of time. I think he's, it wasn't a huge amount of time that he started on it, but he has just really reached out so well to, to everybody who's participated. I've always seen him as yeah. DBO on IRC, and he's, yeah. he's done such a great job welcoming people in. So kudos to Jason. But uh, So what are your plans for the rest of the week? So the rest of the week, so mostly uh, we have the places. We want to you know, land uh, in trunk. Uh, resuming also our uh, weekly uploads, so because of the holiday break, uh, you know, we haven't had uh, uh, right. many uploads for uh, uh, a few weeks. So. so can we expect places in the upload on Thursday? Yeah, yeah, we're really, uh, you <laughs> know, <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're planning um, uh, to have on, on Thursday. Um, yeah, that's the reason why I asked that question. It's, it's, it's documented now. Yeah, so. okay, so <laughs> it's on record. Um, um, accessibility, uh, we're going to do uh, a lot of work to, um, this week, you know, uh, with accessibility, um, making sure we have the first, you know, vertical slice of that. That is, uh, be able to see Unity through uh, an accessibility tool. Uh, that's important. Uh, we have some a, a lot of infrastructure also is moving with the debug menu changes right. uh, and landing. So a lot of rebuilds and so on. Um, polishing the launcher, things like that. With places is the big uh, is the big thing. Great stuff. Well, David, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Have, have a wonderful week and uh, all the best for you.